Hi entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm speaking to you about creating custom conversions when creating your Facebook ads campaign within the Facebook ads manager. Now, creating custom conversions is important if you want to track how successful your ad campaigns actually are. So you need to tell Facebook what URL, so what landing page people will arrive on after they have successfully completed a conversion on your website. So a conversion can be a lead, maybe someone has filled out a form and then they hit a thank you page, or maybe someone has made a purchase, they've bought one of your products or invested in one of your services and they end up on a special thank you page or a page with their receipt or whatever page it is that they land on after they successfully complete their purchase. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind and note is that the thank you page or the success page is not always the same for every single customer. So especially if you are selling a product or a service, the thank you URL might be slightly different. Although every customer will see the same page, the URL will be slightly different and that is going to become important when creating your custom conversions within Facebook. So as you can see, I'm in the Facebook Ads Manager now. You want to make sure you go over to Business Tools and then go to Events Manager. Now you should already have the Facebook Pixel installed on your website. If you don't, then you can actually install it within this Business Manager section of Facebook Ads as well. So you should see add events and here is where you can actually find your Facebook pixel to add to your website. If you get stuck with this, I will leave some resources in the description down below and you can always leave me a comment as well and I'll do my best to answer your questions as effectively as possible. So once you're in this section, you want to actually go to create and then go and create a custom conversion. So the first thing you need to do is name your conversion. So this is to help you to know what this conversion is. So name it something that you can remember. So if you're creating a custom conversion for a lead, then you might want to name this lead for free ebook download. And you can add a description as well, which is optional but this will be for all traffic. So conversion event for all URL traffic. And then here is where you will paste the thank you page or the success page that people will arrive on after they become a lead or make a purchase. Now, if you notice the default is contains. Now this goes back to what I was speaking about at the beginning, beginning of this video, which is that not every single customer will go to the same URL, it might be slightly different. So for example, if you are selling some sort of product on your website, then the URL sometimes contains the customer number. So although they're seeing the same landing page, the URL is slightly different and this can skew your results within the Facebook Ads Manager if you don't handle it effectively. So for example, the success page that someone lands on after they make a purchase from your website might be uh, let's say when someone lands on my website and they make a purchase, they go to this URL forward slash customer number. So that might be the URL that every single customer lands on, but then this the customer number that comes after it might be different based on what customer that is, what, what purchaser they are, if they're the first purchaser or the second purchaser or the 50th or the 100th, then the customer number that follows the rest of that URL will be unique. But I know as long as they have a customer number inside of the URL, then they are a customer, they've successfully purchased and the rest of the URL, Facebook don't need that. It just needs to contain this. So you can actually choose exact as well. So you can come down here and choose equals. And this means that if the URL equals exactly this, maybe your URLs don't change based on individual customers. Maybe your success page, the URL is exactly the same when your customers purchase, or maybe you're doing a lead gen campaign and every single person lands on the exact same URL and there's no differences then you want to put URL equals this exactly. 
Now you can actually also enter a conversion value. So this means that when someone lands on this particular URL, how much does that mean you've added to the business? Has that person spent 10 pounds with you? If it is, then put 10 there and it will be 10 pounds. So that means every time someone lands on that URL, Facebook will say, you've just made 10 pounds. So that's a great way to kind of quickly and easily assess whether or not your campaigns are profitable. So then you can go ahead and create that custom conversion. So now you can go ahead and create your ad. When you create your ad, the very first thing that Facebook will ask you to do is to actually choose what campaign objective you would like. So in order for this to work, you want to choose the conversion campaign option and that will allow you to select what is a conversion for Facebook based on the conversions that you have already created. So this, for example, is one of my example campaigns. As you can see, my convert my campaign objective is conversions. And if I go to the ad set level, then I can come down here and I can choose what my custom conversion is. So as you can see, this is selected to lead to free ebook. And if I actually click on this here and choose an event, it will show me all of the events that I have created um, as custom conversion. So once you create a custom conversion event, when you're actually creating your ad, it should come up here and that will be a part of the whole ad setup. Now I've done videos in the past on Facebook ads and how to set up the entire ad and I'll leave some links in the description down below that you might find useful. And I will be doing follow up videos to this video as well. So if you get stuck anywhere or have any questions or need further assistance, make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss further videos when they go live. I also have the formula, which is the free guide to generating leads and sales to your business online. As you can see, a copy of it is next to me. I will also leave a link in the description down below and I'll leave it somewhere on this screen as well. If you are struggling to drive profitable customers to your website, make sure you go and download that. Like I said, it's completely free and it has some really great strategies that you can implement today to help you to boost your online sales. But I really do hope that this video brought you value and if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.